So as you can see, these fingers are super straight, super uniform, and they look absolutely beautiful. Hey, I'm Nadia Ray, and in today's video, I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to slice finger sandwiches absolutely perfectly. So if you're hosting a tea party or you've been curious about how to get those nice, neat, sharp edges, this is definitely the video for you. I have got a slightly longer tutorial on my channel, which is how to make perfect finger sandwiches, which really takes you through the entire process. I will link that above and also below. But if you just want to know how to slice them, keep watching. First things first, you want to have the right fillings for your sandwich. If you have fillings that are too wet, it's not going to work. So you always want to use some butter and you want to just butter the center of the sandwich so that you have the edges that are reasonably exposed. I'm opting for a vegan finger sandwich today. I have got some garlic vegan mayo and you only ever want to put just a little of your wet filling. So this can be normal mayonnaise, horseradish if you're using beef, cream cheese if you're doing cucumber. And again, in the other tutorial, I show you step-by-step step how to make an iconic cucumber finger sandwich. There is a dairy and vegan option available, so I suggest you watch that. So you always want to fill your sandwiches, not too much, right? So I've got just enough lettuce there and always just leave the edge clean because we're going to cut them off anyway. The trick with avocados is to grab your knife and just slice with the skin on. So go around, slice, and then get your spoon and they need to be ripe in order to do this and they just come out so nicely and it's already sliced for you. The trick with finger sandwiches is not to overstuff them, otherwise it's going to be really difficult to get those nice, neat, sharp lines. And I'm going to just sprinkle a few chili flakes on these and you can put a nice pinch of salt as well. So then you want to just cover and push down. So you want to use a knife with serrated edges at the bottom like so. If you don't use this, you're gonna have a hard time. What I'm saying is you want to stay away from knives like this. This is a no-no, you don't want to use this. You want to use only the ones with the nice serrated edges. This is you just need to grab your hand, push down onto the sandwich, okay? And you want to just take off the crust, but you want to do it about a good centimeter away from the edge. So you want to hold it down and you just want to drive the knife. So back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Do not, whatever you do, push into the bread. Pushing into the bread is going to result in a flat, weird, limp sandwich. So you just want to drive the knife back and forth, back and forth. Don't overthink this, just go for it. Back and forth, back and forth, and again, so that way you have a perfect square. So with finger sandwiches, you can cut this way up or you can cut this way. There's always going to be a long edge and a short edge. I think that the long edge looks a hell of a lot better. So we're going to just get three fingers out of this and this is just normal bread. So you just want to literally get your knife and cut straight down, straight down. And as you can see, you just want to hold these up really nice and neatly and they are absolutely perfect fingers. As you can see, very straight, very uniform. One of the most important things is the bread that you use. So I highly recommend that you use in the packet bread from the supermarket. I know it's not so glamorous, but in order to get those straight edges, it's absolutely essential. And it may be the reason why you're not getting beautiful fingers. Not those absolutely beautiful artisan breads that you get at the farmer's market or too alternative. Because the thing is, it doesn't have the moisture needed. They can have too many air bubbles in and air bubbles are no good if you want to get really wholesome, put together fingers. If you did want to know for storage, you can keep finger sandwiches up to two days in the fridge before serving. In order to do this, you just want to get a sandwich platter. I will link that below. You can buy them anywhere or some Tupperware, depending on the size of your tea party. And all you want to do is sandwiches need moisture. You don't want the bread to dry out. So get a kitchen towel, dampen it, pop it over your fingers, pop it in the fridge, in your Tupperware that has to be airtight and you're good to go. And you can prepare these the day before your party or you can prepare these in advance so that you're not rushing around with all this anxious energy before your tea party. I know that you probably want to host something that's absolutely amazing. So it's in the bread you use, you never want to overfill. Always butter your bread no matter what you're putting on top, even if you're putting mayo, horseradish, anything like that, still use butter because it's going to help to keep the sandwiches nice and dry. Um, it's not going to produce any sogginess, and sogginess is a nightmare for getting nice, neat, sharp edges. And if you did get value from today's video, please do consider subscribing, and I will catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.